We will stand with Kalonzo Musyoka in 2027. Raila Odinga has made the much awaited statement on the 80th birthday of his elder brother Oburu Odinga an event that was supposed that an event that was held in Bondo today uh, Hello Hello Kwa hivyo sisi tunashukuru sana wageni ambao wamekuja siku ya leo kwa hafla hii ya Dr. Burogenga Joganya untie Joguja nitie Alego usonga nitie You give me nika Jorari edato Rageda unge Tojo Jopo ondoto Jopo nitie ka Jimbo nitie Jimbo nitie Jossa quality Eh Eh Sasa Ndajua kuna mambo mengi ambayo itasemwa hapa siku ya leo Lakini mimi nataka kuambia nyinyi tuko katika dhiki katika Kenya hii siku hii Nyinyi vijana mlizimama imara kidete na azimio wakati tulisema maandamano mlijitokeza sio hiyo sasa bado bado jamaa wajaelewa bei inazidi kupanda kila siku lakini mimi nitakuja kuongea baadaye sawa 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 sasa hapa niko na ndugu yangu Rena rafiki yetu ye ndio buru amealika yeye siku ya leo kama mgeni maalum huyu jamaa tumetembea naye pamoja tulikuwa naye pamoja kutoka wakati ile ya kanu alikuwa kanu huko tukaenda naye tukaunda chama pamoja na yeye inaitwa inaitwa uh, LDP tukaingia na pamoja kwa NAC tukaenda naye pamoja kwa ODM tumesimama naye pamoja mara mbili tumesimama naye pamoja tukipigana na tujashindwa kila mara kwa mara tumekuwa tunanyang'anywa tu e, amesimama na mizizi kidete hata mara hii ya mwisho hakuchagaliwa kama kama mgombea mwenza na yangu lakini alibaki na sisi alibaki na sisi jamaa ana moyo jamaa ana ukakamavu jamaa ni mtu ambaye unaweza kumwamini yeye ni mtu mwaminifu yeye tena ni mtu mkristo yeye ni mtu ana tabia ya ungingwana ana upendo ana upendo kabisa and Ryan Odinga has actually clarified and made clear his intentions to hang the boot, boots on the presidential contest. I want us to first dissect that speech. First, Raila acknowledged that the guest of honor in that event was Kalonzo Msioka. So they knew very well. Everything had been planned about it. Ray Odinga also clarified or rather decided to also um, counter William Ruto's forays there because there was a debate on who between Ruto and Kalonzo Raila should endorse. And they realized that they need to count that narrative very fast so the second bit was to make sure that he makes it very clear number three is Raila Odinga acknowledging the effort the sacrifice that Kalonzo has made in all the three presidential uh, contests that Raila Odinga 
have been putting since 2013. Mgala muwe hakimpe. Kalonzo Msioka has indeed stood with Raila Odinga. Kalonzo Msioka has stood with Raila Odinga. And I'm one person who always believed that on the question of who to succeed, who to take the mantle, I honestly believe that it is not negotiable. You cannot. I don't know why I don't buy the narrative by Ruto that I made Ruto, I made Raila Prime Minister. No. He never made Raila Prime Minister. Because he even didn't want Raila to go for that handshake with Mwe Kibaki. And Raila had to come out of the York where the William Brutos were to make sure that he goes for that handshake. And even William Brutus benefited because in that government, Raila was a Prime Minister but he was also a Minister. So ladies and gentlemen, I think that statement from Ray Ludinga is what many Azimio supporters were waiting. Now, there are a number of questions that may still need to be asked there. Mata Karua was missing in that event. Was it by coincidence? Did she know that that statement was coming? And now that Raila was presidential candidate by then, and they were with Mata Karua, and so Raila has already endorsed Kalonzo Musioka. Is that endorsement also having the blessings of Mata Karua, or rather the larger Mount Kenya region? Or they will also want Raila to endorse maybe one people, one person from the mountain? It's another question that uh, is still premature. Now in this podcast, I just want to explain four boxes that from today, Kalonzo Musioka must trick. If he can stick this four, if he can take these four boxes, he will take over from William Ruto. The first box, campaign machinery. And campaign machinery, Kalonzo Musioka must be able and must now invest in making both local and international networks first to help in fundraising for the campaigns both locally, international, and even locally here, he must have the machinery of other political parties that can coalesce around his presidential bid. That machinery is needed. And if it is about Mount Kenya Foundation or any other organization and civil society organizations, they must. He must be able to take that box. Number two, Kalonzo Musioka must take the box of inheriting Raila Mania. Raila Mania are Raila fanatical supporters. These are people that believe that come what come may, when Raila says left, it's left. When Raila says right, it's right. Kalonzo need the highest level of he needs to maximize on Raila Mania and get Raila supporters in their numbers because when he, he must, if he inherits that constituency and then he boosts his own space, there is a lot of work that needs to be done because Ruto is also trying to take a chunk of Raila Mania. The third box is the Mount Kenya basket. I don't know how, I don't know what will be his strategy, but I want to believe that Mount Kenya is a place that you cannot, you know, you cannot disregard Mount Kenya in any national political contest in this country. So immediately from Bondo, Kanozo Musioka must attend any function and every function in Mount Kenya, attend, attend those church fundraisers, attend those events, and camp there to give them an alternative. And I want to see so that, and, I, and the reason I want him to be there is that I want to see how Kimani Chungwa and Dindi Nyoros would ensure that Kalonzo Musioga is the point of focus because I would not want to see Kalonzo depending on or rather campaigning with Raila. No. Let him go alone because any, any, when he's with Raila, 
he loses he loses his own shadow and many people see Raela in him and that will be to his disadvantage number 3 Kalonzo Musyoka must the fourth box he must face Ruto head on you must change we must see a different Kalonzo not the diplomatic Kalonzo that cannot you cannot you cannot oppose diplomatically when you want to face Ruto you must call press briefing you must call him out as a test with that when you go you call out William Ruto you will actually win the trust of civil society organization and with that you will be able to make sure that you win his supporters you know apart from winning Zaila supporters you also need to win Ruto's supporters so you must convince Ruto's supporters that Kalonzo uh, that he is the best choice and the last box the fifth box is he must convince the absentee voters there are people in this country that lost hope in the political leadership they have their ids they are even registered voters but on the voting day they don't come out and vote so that box must be ticked he must give them alternative how kalonzo is different from both raila uhuru and ruto so he must be his own man sixth box is the political party uda is doing a lot of things wiper and odm at zimil are not yet started but they now need to activate with that you can have a contest with william ruto thank you